test, test, you hear me? Yeah, it's on, perfect. All right, uh, thank you, Misty, for the introduction. Like she said, I'm going to be talking about headless and brainless WordPress. Um, I feel awkward doing my own introduction now because she just said everything I was gonna say. Uh, but most people call me BMO, and that's because Ben is too long of a name. So BMO, it, it's easier to remember. No, no, uh, you never get to pick your own nickname, right? Some person, first day on your job, he's gonna shout it at you, and for the next five years, that's, I mean, that's who you are. I don't know if anyone at WP Engine knows my real name, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm the CXO BI Dev L2, to be exact. Uh, I'm the only one, but I am still L2. And I'm the founder, owner, and operator of Skypress. My wife does all of our business administration relations. Clever, I'm foo, she's bar, you, you get it. And uh, I like to think of myself as a student of life. I enjoy learning and stretching the possibilities of what we do every single day and the getting out of the mundaneness of it. WordPress, as we know, is growing and changing and evolving, and it's not a blogging platform anymore. I hope we all know this. Um, but with the introduction of the REST API, it's also not just a CMS anymore. I believe it has the full power and potential to be a full-on development framework, a full platform. And so I want to talk to you guys today about how, maybe not entirely how, but just doing more with it. Let's build more. Let's stretch the imagination. Let's get excited about the possibility of things that WordPress it maybe not sh maybe shouldn't be used for but can be used for and with the more input and growth that we can shoot at it one day will be used for i enjoy wordpress javascript and the rest api as a business intelligence developer i was ecstatic when the rest api showed up because i didn't have to use node which I was struggling to learn, almost had something solid, and then the REST API came out, and I said, well, there goes a year worth of work. Um, but WordPress in and of itself still has a lot of great potential, even if you're just using the bare bones of it. If you think about it, the user management system came out in 2002. This is the same time, WordPress 2.0, same feature release, was a little box in the bottom right of the text area that you can click and resize your text area. That was a feature release item for WordPress 2.0, as well as user management. And it doesn't mean that it's old and out of dated, it means that it has been iterated over and highly secure. And I don't know if you've ever tried to hand code an entire user, log in, log out, passwords, reset your passwords. You don't want to do it yourself. WordPress has it. I've also heard WordPress called a giant PHP wrapper for MySQL. I mean, when you get down to the nuts and shells of it, it's what it is. But it's also very exp extendable, right? All of our plugins, all of our themes, it's how it was made, it's how it was designed. This microphone is heavy. <laughs> JavaScript is no longer something that you just turn off, right? JavaScript is everywhere, whether you want it or not. JavaScript allows you to do very dynamic and user interactive features on your website. You can build full mobile applications, full web applications. JavaScript is just powerful, it's dynamic, it's great. And whenever you start combining WordPress, JavaScript, and the REST API in there, you are unlocking everything, everything that you can think of. I mean, we're not just talking about open up Chrome and do something, you're getting into the internet of things you're getting into full actual native mobile applications. You're getting into, I don't know, two different servers just talking to each other, right? You don't ever have to write a line of HTML to be able to use all of this. And that's why I'm really inspired to come up with how to do it. And there's three different ways that I learned to be able to use JavaScript, WordPress, and the REST API. The first one I'm calling Limless. I think we've all heard the word headless. It's been around for a very long time. And my last solution, I'm coining the term brainless. So let's get right into it. 
traditionally, when you build a website, it's all PHP rendered on the back, right? And, you know, it's pretty simple. The most common thing that we've all been doing, especially with admin Ajax, is a limitless sort of style in which little sections of your site are using JavaScript and calling backwards dynamic. This might be your shopping cart, right? Uh, it could be just getting your Twitter feed. It doesn't really matter, just little snippets. The problem with that though, is just like this slide, every time you go to a new page, the whole thing has to rebuild in the back. And there's gotta be more that we can do with it with all of this super powerful JavaScript frameworks that are out there. And it's not really following a very good design pattern for more than websites. So I say let the back end back and let the front end front. Which leads us on to this really great buzzword of headless. So just to set the record straight, headless WordPress is WordPress except for WP admin that only returns data through the REST API. That's the bottom line. It, headless WordPress has nothing to do with React or Angular or anything else. When you get down to it, a headless solution only returns data through the REST API. And that means that you can build whatever you want. You can use whatever you want to access that data. You can build actual mobile application. And you notice it's, uh, it's yellow, that's full JavaScript. You can build actual web applications. You can do whatever you want with whatever tool you want, even with just non-front-end languages like PHP or Python, because it's just a HTTP call to the REST API. That is a headless WordPress. Everything else is whatever you want it to be. It also means whatever you want it to be can use anything you want it to, as long as they also have a REST API. Still with me? The best example of a headless setup is a mobile app. Because if you think about it, you have your app installed on all of the phones. That means you're not hosting that front end. And all of those phones are making calls back to your actual WordPress site, which may not have any front end. So that is headless mobile application in tandem. Downside, you're not really using WordPress. You're not really using its functionality. You're using some of it. You're generating everything on the back and you're just sending out a stateless, restful response. So when you log in, you have to log in on the front end, and then that front end has to send its login credentials to the back in order to say, hey, can you log me in again? Right, it's like um, your daughter, she meets this great person in college, you really like them, uh, or she really likes them, but then she brings them home for Thanksgiving, and you know, she has to ask, is that okay as well? Oftentimes it's great, that's fine, but it's just doubling up work whenever WordPress already has user authentication, plus many others. So that's where I want to talk about brainless. Notice the dotted white line. WordPress on first page load still uses PHP to generate the HTML, but it's just this tiny little shell. It'll help you enqueue your JavaScript, your localized whatever you want, your styling. And then it also says, JavaScript take the wheel. And then from there, you build out whatever you want, your web application, using whatever you want. And every time you click around, it's still JavaScript making API calls back to the back. But you still get more functionality out of WordPress than just stateless data. Still with me? All right. I had a really great start. I got you laughing, and now it's a little quiet. So with Brainless, you get actual functionality. You render a tiny HTML shell. But at the same time, you're also 
limiting yourself again. You can't do a full native mobile application using brainless because I don't think you want to ship WordPress to every single person's phone. A little bit of summary. Headless, you control everything. Headless means you are responsible for everything. You may, be, you may wind up with two different servers, if you think about it. Your front end hosted one place, your back end hosted another. With Brainless, you can combine the two. You can't do as many great and amazing, you know, Boston robots running through opening doors, but you can still expand beyond what we've been doing with WordPress in the first place. And for people who don't like to read, here's another summary. Are you inspired? I'm inspired. Scott? That's right, because on the front, it's still going over a REST API, so you can shoot it to whatever REST API. And if you have, even on the back, the business logic, right, because PHP has connectors and, um, what's the word? Classes, no, that's the right word. You know what I'm talking about, libraries, to connect to many different types of databases. So whatever you have set up, you can use PHP, because WordPress is PHP. Make it do whatever you want write your business logic however you want, return the data through the JSON REST API, and the front end will consume it. Good. Mm -hmm. It is, it was a 4.7 I think, all of the endpoints are in core. So you, uh, if you don't want to use it, you have to go turn it off now, you can't just, yeah. Theoretically, the great thing about the REST API is on the slide. Repeat the question. So he's asking about the kind of the, the possibilities of using JavaScript to go crawl another site, bring it back, use whatever he needs with it, uh, and all of that in tandem, as well as potentials to using other types of databases on the back end in order to generate the responses for your own API, correct? Okay. So yes, in theory, it's all possible. Uh, at WP Engine, I have a, a full portal using this for all of the data that our customer experience uses, and it is not using the WordPress database entirely because our data, we record everything that every single tech does every single hour of the day that would destroy a WordPress database. Uh, but I still use WordPress to gather that data. I use PHP to gather the data send all the data back out through the WordPress REST API. As you start exploring and expanding, I want to remind you that there's no right way of doing this. There's no proper way of using Angular and WordPress. There's no handwritten, you're doing it wrong way of doing React and WordPress, or toaster machine turning on at 8 a.m. with WordPress. What I want to inspire you is to remember the philosophy that WordPress is based on so that you can go and shed that, share that with the other communities you get engaged in. And then also try and bring some of their philosophies back to us. Because the more all of the communities start unifying and working, then the better things we're gonna build for everyone. My name's Bimo and I'm here all week. All right, full question time now. What you got? Um, so with, he's asking, uh, are there any other features with the WordPress REST API that I use frequently apart from just user authentication, correct? Yes. Um, there's some links in there about the uh, the war framework that I was talking introduced with, and I've been able to use it to start creating full actual data models 
with full CRUD endpoints, create, read, update, delete, that's all self-maintaining using their own tables in MySQL that I would not have been able to do if the REST API wasn't structured the way it was. So the way you can extend out the REST API to do whatever, it's absolutely fantastic because building an endpoint, it's just PHP. Yes, sir. Human made, I think, has a plugin that I need to look at, and I sigh because I'm a terrible developer and I don't document anything. <laughs> that is my weakest link. Um, I haven't tried human made, their sol situation, their solution, but I hear it's fantastic. So, yes, sir. I'll pull one up. Uh, he's asking for an example of a brainless application. And while I pull it up, what's your question, sir? Absolutely the glue. Um, if you think about the different requests that you're, he's asking, he's trying to do single sign-on from one application he's been running for 10 years and WordPress, correct? REST API, absolutely. Just for the fact that your other application doesn't really have to know anything about Wordp what WordPress is doing or what it is. It just has to know, here's the API call to make and here's the payload to send, the credentials to send with it. So it definitely simplifies things. This is my company, Skypress. It is a brilliant single page, and by single I mean that's the only link and it just drops it down to the form. Um, I'm working on a blog. But here's why I want to show you. Uh, all of that, that's the only HTML WordPress has to generate. That's it. It does my scripts, my styles. Angular CLI is great at being able to bundle it, so is Webpack. And you notice right here, app root, app root, that says Angular takeover. Yes, sir. Angular 5. <laughs> Don't worry, in two months, Angular 6 is coming out. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it works with Angular JS as well works with React, works with Vue, works with static HTML. I mean, it's, when you simplify things, the l when you are simplifying things, the less WordPress has to know to render, the better. And then through the REST API, if it's not generating any content, it's not rendering, it's just saying what's two plus two, oh, what's four, then that's also simple. And then you can build up in your own world. Yeah, and Angular does everything else. And just imagine if all of this was built with PHP and Laravel. So on and so forth. I think you get the gist. Ooh, let's do something fun. You guys might like this. I'm going to contact myself. Not a real company. Did I just peel the mood? All right, you guys ready? There it goes. Yay, live demos. There's my, HP, my API call. 
right? Straight to the API. With a little bit of payload. And if I uh, had more set up, I would have gotten an email, but right now I just have to go into PHP my admin. Is it? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, the majority of it is extending out the API, so that's PHP. So you can scrap the front and Angular if you want uh, and just use the API section of it. Yes, sir. So the question is, if, if we're doing more and more and more and less and less with WordPress, because we're cutting off a lot of the hard work that was put into WordPress to make it generate content quickly and scalably and fast, then what's the point in it? And my answer is, even just a limbless solution, if that's what is right for you, then there's nothing wrong with it. Um, in fact, I would say using Angular 5 to build a single page that does nothing, that is complete overkill. And it would have been a lot easier for me if I just used WordPress all the way through. So there's definitely still a place in it. It's just the direction of what you're trying to build out, right? If, if you want to build a chess game, you can do it in WordPress now. But WordPress isn't set up specifically to handle turntable game style stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, he, uh, he's adding on that, yeah, this helps open up the door to create more scalable solutions on WordPress, especially in the enterprise realm, but it all depends on what you need it for, right? Uh, why isn't the question, why not, is the answer, though. Yeah, with, with this, you could use your one WordPress site that's just your backend admi administration tool and click your buttons and spin up anything else on many other sites. Yep. Got a question over here. It's asking what are some of the limitations of using a headless approach, both from administration and end user experience? Um, on a headless approach, depending on what you're building out, you're still having to do all that yourself in a sense. Uh, there's fantastic, fantastic React communities, fantastic Angular communities, fantastic Python communities. They're also not the WordPress community, and I have a, a sweet spot in my heart for the WordPress community. Uh, from an administration standpoint, that's a good one. I think the limitations are in, in what you build. Um, yeah, WordPress is there. Question, we'll go through. So advice on WordPress and mobile applications specifically, 
through the REST API and the, the gap in that, right? Oh, Cordova, okay, gotcha. Uh, personally, I don't have experience with that. I'm also watching the entire app, like just general application team closely and progressive web apps are gonna be taking over soon. So I, I don't know what's going to happen with a uh, phone gap, Cordova, Ionic even, whenever progressive web applications will be easier and easier to build out, um, especially when you have like two files, a manifest file, and now you have suddenly have a progressive web app. Oh, and, and service workers. So modern web technologies are going faster than WordPress, right? And it's just a fact of life. But now we can keep up with the Joneses in a sense, like peek over the fence and see what they're doing over there, and uh, eventually just tear down that fence and start using it all in tandem. JSON web tokens uh, for actual API calls. But when you're going with a brainless solution, you can still use standard uh, WP authenticated cookie, pass in a nonce with it, because whenever you're on a brainless, WordPress loads the page first, and so it already knows everything that's going on. So personal favorite, JSON web tokens. Uh, there is a JWT plugin, yeah. Anyone else? So I'm staying here until they kick me out. Yes. Yeah. The dream, dream away. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. I like Pokemon, too. All right. Uh, if that's it, you guys have been fantastic. Please come see me. I can talk about this for days and days and days. <laughs>